Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flipped Teacher professional learning video, I'm going to be showing you an amazing tool that will allow you to fill in and sign PDFs or other forms without having to download, print, fill them out, get them scanned back in and then emailed back to the recipient. What we need to do first of all is it is a, an add-on for Google Drive called Doc Hub. So you need to Google Doc Hub and you'll get this result and this result here. This one is their website. You can go there if you want. This second one here, this will actually take you to the, the Chrome App Store, the add-on store, and it will allow you then to install it to your Google Drive. It's a fantastic tool, it's completely free. You can upgrade for additional features, but you don't necessarily need to do it at this point. You'll need to add it on. Now, what you can do is, whenever you receive uh, an email with a form that you need to fill out for any purpose at all, you can use this add-on. So many of my uh, regular watchers, my readers, will know that outside of education, I'm involved with the football uh, community as a referee. So with the start of this uh, new season coming up, I need to fill in my availability form so that the people who do the appointments know when I'm available to referee. Normally, I'd need to print this out, fill it out by hand, scan it and send it back, or hand it in uh, in person. Doc Hub allows me to fill it in, sign it, and send it back without needing to print it out at all. So what I do, when you get the email, you'll see the attachment. I simply click on that as you normally would to view the form. And up the top of the screen here, there is an option that says open with Doc Hub. There's a little uh, arrow here. This allows you to connect other apps to your, your Google account. Obviously the one that I've got we're looking at is Doc Hub. If you want to look for more, click on connect more apps. We click on the Doc Hub and what it does is it launches the Doc Hub app. It uh, imports the file or the, you know, the, the file that you are working with and it then displays that on your screen. It does take 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds to load that up. And you can see now that it's, an, it's loading it up and the URL has changed to dockhub.com. So when you create your account, it will take you to here and you can see straight away that the form is there. So what you get is a series of options. We've got a few, we'll go through this quickly. Page control allows you to see all of the pages down the side. Manage fields allows you to look at particular fields and see about you know who needs to sign it and what, what are the different fields on the page. Undo, redo, obviously to fix up mistakes or redo things. This is where it gets really important. There's a pointer. You need to obviously use the have the pointer selected to move around the field if you want to highlight things. The text tool, if you need to type things in, you click on the text tool, you get this little box you can see. You hover over where you want and you simply start typing. Very, very simple. You can draw if you if you need to draw something. So this could be a way of giving feedback to students if you need to annotate something as well. Whether it's for students or whether it's for yourself, you can do annotating with that. And you can change what type of tool you're looking at there, whether it's pen, rectangle, circle, or a line. The next one is a choosing tool. So you can highlight text or you can, you'll can you get a highlighted box. You can add comments. So this is great for giving feedback to students. Again, you can put a comment, want to put a comment in here and tell a student or a colleague, please, uh, please sign here, or this is the feedback on this section, whatever the case may be. Really useful tool. There's an eraser or a whiteout tool, which allows me to hover over anything that I've filled in previously and to get rid of it or to hover over something and get rid of a section. Again, let's undo those two things. Uh, there's a stamp tool, so down the bottom here, you can see there are some options I need to indicate when I'm available to referee. So I can use any of these stamps to fill that in, you know, whatever is appropriate. So I'm going to just use ticks. I'm going to say that I'm available Saturdays, all days required, and it then puts a tick in. That's obviously quite large, it's bigger than what I need. So I need to change the stamp size back down to a 12. And I can still, if I want to, click and drag to make the tick larger or small, you can change the colors of the ticks. You can insert an image if that's appropriate for whatever your document is. And this last one, this is the really, really important one. It allows you to sign. Now what you need to do is you either need to have enough control of your mouse to be able to create your signature using your mouse or you need a stylus such as a, a Wacom tablet and pen or just a stylus if you've got something like a Microsoft Surface and use the stylus to sign or you can do your signature as normal on a piece of paper import that digitally so scan it in and save that as a digital image and it then allows you to use that signature on the document so when you click on the signature you get a few options there is create signature manage signatures so if you and a colleague or if you and your partner 
by using this, you can have each other's signatures there. All you simply need to do is click on the signature that you are using, scroll to the point where you need to put your signature in and click done, the signature is there, ready to go. Click back on the pointer tool and you can see that it's there in place. Obviously, I'm gonna be blurring it out. It is a really, really simple tool. Now, what's the next step after you've filled in the document? In the top right hand corner, we have a menu bar. Uh, you can see there's three horizontal lines and a down arrow. This gives us a drop down action, uh, drop down box with a few different options. I can share a link to the file. I can email as an attachment. I can send a request to somebody else and ask them to sign it. I can fax it. There are a few different options there. Feel free to go through that at your leisure. Typically speaking, I will generally download the uh, download the document and you can do that to any of these options here or you can just simply print it if you do want to do that. So the free version of DocHub does have some limits uh, as you can see those here. DocHub Pro removes most of those limits and it's not particularly dear. If you pay annually, it's $4.99 a month. If you pay monthly, it's $6.99 a month. And you need to have a think about how often you'll be using it. There are a huge number of these types of tools out there, but DocHub is the one that I've chosen to use. And that's all the time we have for in this video. Don't forget for more helpful videos like this one, head over to c21teaching.com.au. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.